This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. We welcome you to the Marion Knott Gymnasium here on the campus of Institute of Notre Dame. Girls action here on the Dice Learning Network today. And the Institute of Notre Dame and their white home jerseys and a record right now of five and nine. First season in the IAMA Conference. And we're going to send Francis Pilati. has been ranked this year so far in the top 20 in the Foster Sports Science Poll. And the record of 11 and 7. Both teams in January here had a big go on. ID of the Basketball Academy. Had two matches up there. One of them was postponed. The other one was Forest Park. And the Lady Foresters have been pretty amazing over the last year, taking care of business there. St. Francis McDonough the last couple of days has not been there for the Lady Penguins. As they get it going. Here on this one today, Russell, the captain, with the basketball now. She puts it up and puts it in early here for the Penguins, a 2 nothing game. Back over these two teams met earlier. Shot clock did not reset itself. These two teams met in December. And St. Francis Pilate winning 50-37 to in Lowell. It's the rematch of that game. It's a big week this week for the Penguins. That big game with Towson against Mercy. That layup is good for Pilate in their road jerseys today. Jasmine Valentine. As it's close to Valentine's Day, put the two in and we're tied at two. Russell, back over to Taylor Grace. Grace brings it over to Maynardo, the freshman. Russell has it now. She drives. Looking at close at the top of the key. Kicks it over. Side to Williams and a foul is called. So Lachey Williams is senior. And the other captain here on the uh, Penguins. She's going to be shooting two. She a little less than a minute into this one so far in the Dice Willing Network here today. Goes action coming your way. Busy action packed day as we taping. Got this game. Got the matchup between uh, Mount Kelman and Patterson and the boys in, and then St. Francis Pilate boys. Takes on Mount St. Joe's. They're in Irvington tonight. So, that, almost a steal in front of us here as Smith had to hang on. She drives straight up. Kicked it over Valentine, and the ball back. That's a spin. That hits. Nice save from Gina Hall. And we are even at four here early in this one. Taylor, and it got stolen from her. Brown kicks inside. The layup did not go to Smith. Offensive rebound. Ball off the knee. And the Penguins get it back. Well, Russell brings it up now. Russell's looking to kick, looking to drive, and a turnover again. Jump ball is called. It's going to still stay with Pilate on their end. It's Brown Sterling, she's going to inbound it out for the Lady Panthers. Swings. Have a chance to drive. Back in the corner. That one hit the top of the arm. No good. Taylor with the rebound for the Penguins. Taylor drives. Blocking puck. That was before the shot. Will be no free throw. 551 here left in the first quarter. Swings it over to Taylor. Right inside. Jumper, no good there by Leisha Petty. Here comes a fast break for Pilate. Coast to coast. Shooting two. 
So Makai Smith, the junior guard, is coming out to shoot. Actually, no, he will not be shooting. Inbound play. First team foul, by the way, on the Penguins. Swings it over to Durant. Pulls up and hits. Nice two. And the lead for Pilate. Here comes Russell. Bringing it up. Over to Taylor. Pop over. Out of bounds, the tunnel. Put the ball back to the Lady Panthers here. Not what the long team Penguins had in mind. Coach Robert DeVois, long time here at uh, IMG. Swings it over. And a turn over the other way, so it's back to IMG. Here on the end of the corner. This game of three. The second game of four, technically. Try to get footage as on the inline turnover there. As has been a battle of turnovers the last couple of possessions, and it's back to the Lady Panthers this time. McDonough against St. Francis Milani boys. Have that one for you. Triple header here on the Dines on the network. It is evening. Kicks it back. Back over. Jumper. That one didn't go. Russell gets the rebound for the Penguins, and she brings it up. Russell puts it up, didn't go. Taylor had the offensive rebound, got taken away from him. Back over to Smith, coast to coast, and the layup is good. 8 4 game. Taylor Kane switch it over. Williams inside. And a three-second call. Major Petty was set up inside. Ball didn't get to her in time. Substitution in. Sidney Curtis, another freshman for the Panthers. She's in the game. Kicks it. Shoots it. That one tipped a miss. Rebound to Williams. He brings it up now for the Penguins. Williams coast to coast, trying to take it all the way to the basket, tipped and missed. Rebound to Williams, puts it back up and puts it in. Nice second chance effort by the singer. And it's a two-point advantage for Pilate. A trap and a foul. Foul against IND. Very interesting. A nice defensive trap, but a hand got in there. The ball's going to go and stay with Pilate here. Brown is going to inbound right in front of us. Jim is set up. Son of the uh, travel, big time. Feet moved. And the ball back to I and D. As we say, in the way the gym is set up, so both teams come in the middle of the court. We are near the middle. The entrance way. Everybody technically comes in. I go here in the Knox Gymnasium. Inside now. Smith. Jump ball. It's going to stay with the Penguins. Shot clock at 17. Back over. Nice. Swings. Kicks again. Jumper. It hits. Nice one there by Sidney Curtis. And it's a one point lead for the Penguins. 9 to 8. Swings. Smith now has it for Pilate. She's looking to drive. And a foul. Second team foul against the Penguins at uh, 251 left in the first. Folks 
a move in. Brown lost it and turned it over. The ball was timidly hit with Curtis, and then Taylor gets it for the Penguins, and a foul is called. That's the third team foul against Pilate now. So Grace Taylor, Jr. had the line shooting two, trying to increase the lead for the uh, Penguins. Yeah, like I said, the first year of A play for the East Baltimore School, the center Baltimore. We'll be looking at Sten Arrivery with St. Francis in both meetings this year. Uh, went to the Panthers right across the way, actually about two blocks down the road. There's a second shot here. Goes in. So, one of two is a 10 8 game. Wide open up court, but again, traveling. As Messi Thread again travels. And it cost her an open shot. Well, Grace Taylor lays it up fine deep. Doubled, doubled, and forces a travel. Good defense there by the Lady Panthers. Well, Janelle Hall will inbound it. There's McDonough and Roland Park Country. St. Francis has been the main teams as a turnover. It's going back to IND. Right behind him is Pilate and the Institute of Notre Dame. The reason that's a big deal, playoff seating now is huge and you won't be so surprised these two teams see each other in the first round. The playoffs, Taylor for three, hits it, all net. Biggest lead for the Penguins, 13-8. And a foul. Shot will, I believe, not count. Foul was before the shot. 14 foul against the Penguins. And uh, down the ball here. 152 to the left in the fourth. Tap, threat inside. She stepped on a baseline, and IND gets it back. Russell's back in the game. She'll get it off the inbounds from Curtis. And that's a travel back the other way to Pilate. Smith drives off the glass, high, didn't go. Offensive rebound blocked from behind a foul is called. Well, Jasmine Valentine should be coming to the line and shooting two. First shot in. Check out the Flex Zone's newest show. It's a Goofy Central. Cavante Hope and host Byron Dixon go into sports. She was goofy. Episodes of the first five is up. Episode six coming your way very soon. You can check it out on all the Flex Zone's social media. Russell will not get the basket. Check it out on the links as well under each video as we back to King. Actually, a 13-10 game if you have just joined us. Tomorrow's down here with you at the uh, Marion Knott Gymnasium. And last year the Penguins won their first IAMB conference championship. The ball out of bounds a turnover. 
IAMB Conference Championship, excuse me. First run since 1992. And we plan to be at Stevenson for the IAM Championships. Coming up in a couple weeks here on the Dice Run Network. We'll be there for the CBNA Championship. Games. Back over. Swings it up, up in the air. Kipped and missed by Hall. Taylor with it. We are down to seconds here in the court. Russell. She drives, puts it up, and puts it in. And now Russell the junior. And 15 10 game for the home Penguins. Drive and a foul. Foul is called. 32.9 seconds here left in the quarter. A 15 to 10 game. First shot in there. Smith hits the first of two. Second shot in there. So both shots go. And it's a 15 12 game now. For I and D. Taylor over to Russell, back over to Taylor. Taylor puts up a floater and it drops out. Offensive rebound. That goes in. Nice there by Randall. Shot clock is off. Got to try to put it up here. Throws it up. No good. Offensive rebound. Up and high. And a foul finally called inside. Foul called inside with four seconds left. Well, Makila Whitland is coming up to shoot two. First shot, no good. No good. Second shot, front and miss, offensive rebound, got to put it up, that one slips, at the buzzer, it goes in, the basket will count for Jackson Valentine, and after one, it is a 17-14 game for the home Penguins, trying to get a key conference win against Pilate here in the season. On special Spalding, we love to hit in the second quarter. St. John Capital Platt, the other team that came up from the IAMB Conference with the Penguins, hit key conference wins. And this will be Pilates, excuse me, it'll be IND's biggest win. They can get it over Pilates here at home today. Still got to take on John Carroll coming up this week. And of course, the big matchup at Towson, the rivalry game with Mercy coming up on Friday. Very entertaining girls matchup so far. As I said, the playoffs are a couple weeks away, right around the corner. Here, yeah, January fades into February. And in the fourth quarter, we'll be talking about our playoff push here on the Dice Morning Network. And we'll be coming your way from various huge matchups on the boys' side of things, as well as, of course, the IAM Girls Championship. And we're hoping to get a date on the Baltimore City Championship matchups as well. As we still got makeup games to do on the boys' end, it looked like Piling Weston will be your girls' matchup on that side of things up here as well. So the second quarter is going to commence. This Hall brings it out for Pilates, right over there to Smith. Smith has it. She kicks it over to Wheeler. Shot clock at 22, plenty of time. Inside, oh, 
Almost had a nice pass. Got it back though. It was Pilate. Nice pass work inside and forces a call up. Regina Hall will be coming to the line to shoot two. Very good offense there by Pilate to force the defense to foul. 18 foul now on uh, the home Penguins and it's two now. And the one and one is now in effect as well for Pilate. First shot in there. First shot goes. And in the area, the heat is one indeed. Offensive rebound there. Wheeling and a fresh shot clock there. Back over, nice pass inside. That one didn't go. And Russell clears the boards and brings it up for the Penguins. And a carry in violation. Ball back to Pilate here. 17-15 game for the Penguins. Again, trying to get that, that big IAM win here at home. This is pretty much a break a tie in conference. Foul is called on the floor. One and one in effect now. And two notes also got to see John Kell. And trust me, the IAM folks, it's not an easy conference at all in all bases of it, but especially in the A division. Offensive Spalding is 1-8 right now, but their record is 7-9 on the season. That one tipped and missed. Taylor gets the rebound. Their team early in the year really has some steam. We had them against Pikesville, that game. Coming up on the Dodge Sporting Network on our archives. Check it out. Oh, nice pass inside. No one at home, but it didn't go in. Huge opportunity there by Pilate. Wasn't able to get an advantage. Russell. And a foul off the ball against Pilate. That's a 15 foul against them. Petty at the line. As she was at the line, but not shooting. Taylor now gets it off the inbounds. Oh, that's a three. That's it by Maddie Reno. What a three that was. And it's the biggest lead, seven now. For IND. 22 15. Tap. Defense and the trap. And a timeout and a very smart one there by Coach Matthew. So timeout is called. We'll take a little closer to the score. 22 15 game. With 6.36 here left in the first half. Again. Pilate and S2 to Notre Dame. 4 and 5, respectfully. The winner today will be Sally in that fourth spot. Why is that a huge deal, as they say? Because these two teams can see each other again in a couple weeks in the IAM playoffs. How about a huge beat conference matchup with uh, Mark DeSales against uh, Catholic High School? Battle of the a B and C conference. Mark DeSales got the big one against Mount Kelmo the other night. Up in Middle River. Back to game action, turned it over. Here comes IND. Taylor. She brings it up back over to Russell. Russell looking to create. Taylor pick and roll. Spins out for shooting two. Nice play call there by the Lady Penguins. First shot in there. Eight point lead now for the Penguins. 
23-15. Second shot. In there for Taylor. A nine-point advantage now. Here for IND. She lost it out of bounds. IND gets it back off the turnover. Russell inbounds over to Taylor. Back over to Russell now. Bringing it up. Taylor. Swings it back over to Williams. Russell. And it tapped temporarily. Inside, that one tipped and missed. Snatches the ball at 30, and she's coming to shoot too. 17 foul against Pilate, and that means the one and one is in effect now for the Penguins. Petty at the line. First one did not go. Check out the Dias Running Network. Like what you see on the girls' end, we're bringing more girls' action to you coming your way. Have uh, matchups. One huge one last year. We had Bishop McNamara, St. Francis, and our archives. And boy, this year, them two teams have really put a show on as the defensive rebound went over there to Miller. And a foul. 15 foul against IND. That means the double bonus is now in full effect as the Penguins is over the foul limit. Also, of course, the city championship game last year with Piling Western, Division One and Division Two with Forest Park. Really getting things going for them, and they have really got moving this year. I right, said so Forest Park will be the victim this year. The division switching up. Well, Polly and Weston look like they'll be the favorites to rematch each other again on the girls' side. In the city championship game. Here. Open, and if that one didn't go either, Williams gets the rebound now. She brings it up. Taylor has it, kicks it back over. Inside now to Petty. Picked off. Here comes Pilate, trying to get something going on offense. Turnovers has been their victim here in the second quarter. They've only scored three points. Brown. Over to Whelan. Whelan. Almost turned it over. She's able to still keep it, and a foul inside is called. Again, two shots coming up. Here for Pilate. First shot, front end miss. Again. You just joined us here on the Dinosaur Network. We thank you so much for hanging with us. Both of them clinking. And Taylor gets the rebound there for the Penguins. Here comes Russell. She carried the basketball again. And the ball back to Pilate. Again, the offense getting a little stagnant there for both teams now. The Penguins got off to that quick start in the second quarter. They've been stalled. The turnovers have been the problem for the Peng excuse me, for the Panthers here in the quarter. Bump and a foul. So again, free throw chances once more here for Pilate. This time it's Lindsay Thread at the line. Pilates missed their last four free throws. I see that can change now. First shot here. Front end miss.
Second shot did not go either. Free throw rolls continue on for Pilate and IND gets the ball back. Smith is back in the game for Pilate. Russell brings it up. Russell inside, nice pass. But it was caught it away. Randall Fosh had an inside track. Fast break. Got to get something going for Pilate. That one tipped and missed. Russell with the rebound. She bring it up on a fast break. Russell escapes coast to coast. And a foul is called. Question to see if the basket counts. I believe it did. And the basket counts. 424 here left in the half. Biggest lead for the Penguins. You see it now, 11. 26-15. And the free throw, no good. And Pilate offensively has been stagnant here. They gotta get it going. And almost a steal. Inside, ball slips off the hands, able to save it. Nice press running defense. Got to shoot that. That one tipped and missed. Out of bounds. The ball's going to stay with Pilate on their end. So Pilate keeps the basketball on their end of the court. Shot clock at 28. Swings it back and a travel. So Hall travels and the ball back over to IND. Russell brings it up now. Crossover, floater, back and miss. Here comes Pilate, but a turnover. And Nino over to Taylor. Taylor kicks a nice pass. And two shots coming up for Russell. Excuse me, two shots coming up for Randall at the line. It's a nice setup. This one able to get the finish. Game of runs is early. Pilates girls are able to keep the run going. The last time we got to see Pilates was a couple of seasons ago. And now we uh, see the T.O. We got to see I indeed last season. They took on Mervo. And they dominated the Mustangs in that game up on Hill and Road. And a 12 point lead now for I and D. Second shot, tip the miss. Oh, one of two, puts the lead to 12. Drive, that goes! Nice play there by Hall. Get the Pilates offense going. Russell. Russell from downtown. Ah, net hits. Over the other way. That one didn't go. That looked like a jump ball. And the Penguins get it. The recession arrow was in their favor. 253 remaining here in the first half. It's been a good one. They're at ING. That's a foul. Oh, again, Pilate catches a break. Let's see what they do here on offense. Yeah. Go ahead. That's 
a drive. Count it in one more. Here's offensive play for Pilate. They needed that. There's Lindsay three outside the line. Going to shoot the and one. Got it. Lee back down to 10. 30-20 affair. Russell brings it up now for ID. Oh, lost it. Clyde gets it again. 2.14 here left in the half. Hill City's going on the same time as this one as well. A lot of these girls match up. Girl season's coming down the stretch. That's a foul. It's two shots. So two shots at the line. Here yeah, for Nia. Nia. First shot. Got it. So the free throw line helping Pilate stay in this one. That's what we want. We want a good game. No question about that. Second shot. That one blanks. Offensive rebound. Hughes there by Valentine. Pick City. Here comes Taylor. Here comes the Penguins. Coast to coast. Inside to Randall. Randall didn't get it. Randall gets her own rebound. And a fresh shot clock. That's his shot clock did not reset. So, takes it back over to Taylor. Taylor puts it up and puts it. 32-21. Puts it up off the glass. Gets it in. How about that? Dana Hall again puts it in. Lead that down to nine now. Nine point lead. Russell inside, off the glass and missed it. And goes to Lindsey Brown. Travel. And the ball back over to ID. 107 here left in the half. Takes it, slips, and turnover. So we're down to seconds left here in the half, and uh, a game that was tight, real tight earlier. ID been able to pull away. They've had a biggest lead of 13. Pilates been able to cut into it, be at the line, and a couple good possessions on that last couple inside. Go down to Lindsay Vian. Back over to Hall. Hall with the crossover. She pulls up. That one tipped and missed. Russell clears it with the rebound. Russell inside. Got it in there. 34-23 game. Lead back to 11. Turned it over. Looking for the cut pass. Nobody was there. Foul is called. And that's going to be two shots now. Shot clock is off with 17.4 left here in the half. First shot, front end miss. Front end miss. Second shot. That one slips out. Bad it. Ball's gonna stay with ID. And two misses. But ID able to survive that. And 
15.2 left here in the half. You get a chance to go out in the half with a bat. And a travel. Nummy O caught the ball. And feet moved and she got called for it. So Pilate, get this lead back to single digits here. And the half. Hall. Trapped out of bounds. Going to stay with Pilate. 6.8 left here in the half. Still trying to clear it. Paul has it. Paul drives, puts it up at the buzzer, goes in. So that's the half. Half of runs, I and D. Second quarter was in their favor big time, and they're up by nine, 34. 25 at the break here on the Dynasty Winning Network, and we'll be back with the second half of action coming your way after this. You stay tuned now. Second half about to get underway here at the Nice Gymnasium. St. Francis Pilate down by nine. Morris out here with you. Dynasty Network, foul is called. And ID start the quarter on defense. What a foul call. And Kia Willen coming up to shoot two. So the free throw situation was in uh, Pilates' favor in the first half. Wasn't able to take full advantage of it as the first shot goes. Getting the winner of this matchup will be in fourth place silently in the IAM A Conference. Right behind Roland Park, St. Francis, and McDonough. 34-27 game as Russell swings the pass over to Taylor. That's over. Petty. Now over to Smith. Taylor. Over to Smith with the double team. And a timeout. Coach Ambrose. Coach Robert DeVos, excuse me, was not liking that setup there for his Penguins. They got pressured hard. Shot clock will be at 11 once they get the ball back out of the timeout. 7.32 here left in the third quarter. Again, a fine be with you. Thank you. Thanks to Nelson Dawn, Dr. Tally here in the, the Knox Gymnasium. High school girls basketball action. And of course, we have boys action as well. St. Fink Pilate boys up against Mount St. Joe's. Mount Camo boys against Patterson as well. So there's a lot going on here on the Dot Line Network. And then starting next week, there's a turnover. Over to Smith, she brings it. That's a three, hits it! Here's there by Lindsey Thrott. And it's a five-point game now. That's Pilate right in it. Double-team Russell. Able to save it, though. The Smith. Russell gets it back way downtown. Spins out. Offensive rebound to Petty. She put it up no good. Williams. Then jump ball. Jump ball is staying with the Penguins on their end. Russell will inbound. Throws it up right there to Taylor. Turned it over. Oh, Pilate. Looking good. They're trying to cut the lead down to two or three. That was blocked. Petty, but she lost it. Inside of the glass of Valentine. No good. Offensive of rebound. And two shots coming up. And all of a sudden, the game has turned. Momentum wise, a little bit to Bilotti as the third quarter is equal to fast start for them. First shot. Spins out. Oh, 
Second shot here. That one spin down. So two huge misses. There's been a lot of misses at the line for Pilate here in this game. They've had the free throw chances. Inside the patty, she puts it in. How about that one? 35, 29. That's a jumper. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound of Valentine. She was looking to kick it out. Williams. As Taylor saved it for. Here comes ID. Oh, a shot goes. And the lead back to nine now. So two straight possessions for IND. Got the lead back. Come to lead to nine. Valentine right opens up for her. She couldn't get the finish. Offensive rebound. Kicks it back out. That's a three. Spins out. Russell grabs the rebound for the Penguins. Up there. Nice. Williams with the finish. And a current violation, the ball back to the Penguins. So as quickly as I and D had thought they had not had possession of this one, was momentum starting to shift, they get it back right away. 40-29 game. Swings it over to Williams. Williams puts it up and puts it in. Another nice play by the senior. 42-29. Drive inside. Block from behind. Foul is called. And Valentine coming to the line to shoot two. I believe that's the 13th foul now on the Penguins. Again, it was hurt the Panthers. This is the free throw line, and it continues to do so. I said I and D, busy week for them. Still have John Kell, of course, the big rivalry game against Mercy. Towson. Always a good atmosphere in that one. That second one goes, you free throw make. That cuts the lead to 12. Lee got to his biggest again at 13. Williams from way downtown, no good. And a foul. Fourth team foul now against IND. And again, the foul situation is not in the home team Panthers' favor. It will help the Panthers, I believe, stay in this one. Kicks it back to Hall. Hall, position. Got it! Right in the middle of the lane. How about that one? And we got a 10 point game now. Russell. Pulls up. Didn't get it. Out of bounds. And it's going to stay with the Penguins. Shot clock at 19. The ball did not hit the rim. Russell swings it over to Taylor. Taylor back to Russell. Russell pulls up and hits. Down up from downtown, the junior. And it's a 45-32 game again. Biggest lead now, 13. That one tipped and missed. Ball back out of bounds. It's gonna stay with the Lady Panthers on there. Fakes it. Hall inside, puts it up, and she's shooting two. 15 foul now against the Penguins. First shot, front end miss. Front end miss. 4.26 here left in the corner. 
Second shot. Got it. So one of two. Cuts the lead to 12. Russell brings it up. Fry and D. Drive. Floater. Two shots. First team foul against Pilate. First shot, front end miss. Front end miss. Who got this what? In the back. Second shot for Russell. Like this. And that one missed. Offensive rebound to Williams. She's played a huge dividend in the quarter so far. Russell drives. Couldn't finish. Ball's gonna stay with IND. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Swings it back. Russell inside. Back over. Williams, top of the key. That one didn't go. And a fast break. Whelan trying to go coast to coast. Try to get it off a backhand, offensive rebound to Valentine. That was no good. Shot clock. Back set. Paul, she holds. Gets it back over to Lindsey Bell. Swings it over again. Valentine puts it up. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound again. Another chance. Reversal goes in for Willen. And still a 10 point advantage. 45 35. Set for the Penguins, first year in the IAMA Conference. And a foul. Foul, not in the act of shooting, so ball be inbounded. Second team foul against Pilate. 317 here left in the third. That's a three, they're all in and out. Offensive rebound, puts it up, that one didn't go. Williams lost it out of bounds and it's going back to the Lady Panthers. Paul brings it up now for Pilate. That's a long distance jumper, no good. Ball on the deck. Finally grabbed there by Smith. Russell. That's a three from Curtis. Front end miss. Pilate again. They cut the lead to single digits here with a jumper. Speaking of Hall, she shoots one. That one didn't go. Valentine gets it back. And a blocking foul. You see, it was in the act of shooting. It will be for Valentine. That's a 16 foul against the Penguins. That's a huge Monday tilt. That's the taping. Seeing it here. First shot is in. So cuts the lead to single digits 45 36. A nine point lead for the home Penguins. Second shot. That's in two. So both of them go. It's an eight point lead. And this one is Russell. Brings it up. Russell. Back over. Curtis. Back to Russell. Russell. Putting it on. Shoots it. Didn't get it. Offensive rebound to Taylor. That's on the ground. It's going to stay with the Penguins. 2-10 here left in the quarter. Let's see what's going on here. 
Reset. Both sides trying to make sure everything's good. And we're back to play. 210. They're left in the quarter. He also has it. Offensive foul! And Pilate gets it back. <laughs> so Hall has it now for Pilate. Bring it up. Swings it back over. That's a three. That one was not on target. But Greenhow wasn't able to finish that. Taylor swings it over to Curtis. Picked it off. Hall has it. Going up. Shooting two. I see my problem. That was Brown. With that one. And Brown's coming up to shoot that pair. Two shot foul, 144 here left in the third quarter. And folks, I tell you, we got a good one on our hands here at the uh, Nice Gymnasium here on the campus of uh, the Institute of Notre Dame. Brown, holding her back area, trying to see if. Uh, Smith is going to come in and replace Brown to shoot the free throws. Yeah. So how her back is, look at it, and uh, hopefully she will be all right. So come on back in this, in this one here. Smith, front end missed the first. Second shot. That one goes in. So one of two, and it is a seven point game. Nino. She turns it over. ML, but then Taylor gets it off the pick. Coast to coast. Missed the front end. Now, offensive rebound. And it's a foul. Uh, against Pilate. Only the 13th foul against Pilate. IND is already at eight, and the one and one is in effect. Like you said, the free throw line will be huge for Pilate. Got it to Taylor. Nice dribble. Marino. I go to Taylor. Williams. Inside of Petty. Actually, that's not Petty. That was Smith. And it's an and one with it. How about that one? That was a huge uh, situation there. One goes. Nana Smith, the sophomore. Use buckets as we've got to get the seconds here left and the third. That's a foul. That's the one on one. As you know, that's an offensive foul. And the ball back to IND. Taylor back over. 
Two man out. Third quarter's coming to a close. Williams swings over to Curtis. Curtis puts it up. That's a miss. Rebound, and that's a foul again. Lindsey Fiat. Foul. She's shooting a one and one. 19 foul against IND. And trust me, this fourth quarter is going to be a little lengthy. It's going to be. A lot of free throw shots happening for Pilates, at least early in it. First shot in there. 48-39 for IND. Second shot and there. Both shots go. Almost lost it and did. Back over. Do we have a foul or a jump ball? We had a foul. So Amino was trying to force a jump ball. They say she got her hands in in the process of that. So it is. Two shots now, and the rest of the way, Pilates going to be shooting two when fouls are called on the offensive end. First shot didn't go. Second shot. Cut the lead to eight. Not even close. And the ball goes back to the Penguin. 38.2 last shot clock, game clock. At an eight second difference between each other. And a foul. 15 foul against Pilate. Two more. They'll put IND in the one on one. The Williams will inbound. Taylor gets it. Taylor puts it up off the glass, missed it. Shot clock, game clock right dead even just about. Oh, hard foul. Still on the feet. See which way it's gonna go. It's gonna go on D-Way. 17.4 left. All slipped and that was huge. Ind. Ind catch a huge break. Williams. You know. Driving it up. Kicks it over, picked it off. Lindsey Diaz all the way to the basket. Missed it high. Going back up. And it goes in. That should do it. That's a foul. Oh, it's an offensive foul. Offensive foul, so it should be maybe about a second back on the clock. The quarter's not done yet. Get together to see how much time we will have in it.
So, fourth quarter is going to be about to begin. Let's get you the score, mighty quick. 49 42 game. Props to Pilate. They have fought in this one. And it has helped Pilate that the fouls has been in their favor right now. Of course, when we get one of our next timeouts, we will run down our schedule for next week here on the Dying Spring Network, which will be a good one. This will be coming at you at least the next four Sundays in February coming your way. And at the BCL is usually where it normally is, it'll be the first Sunday March as well. So our action's about to switch to the late weekend. It's the fourth quarter's about to begin. 49-42 game. A seven-point lead for IND. If you just joined us here, nice line up with DeMars Die here with you. So great to be with you. Oh, yeah. So you see. Us hitting boys hoops. Get your little girls action here you know, as well. And I came on Patterson coming out to you as well. And the boys are Brown back in the game. Swings it over to Hall. Hall swings it back over to Wheeler. Shot clock at five. Four. Inside. Valentine blocked. Ball still on the deck. And the ball's going to go to IND as a shot clock violation. Ball did not hit the rim. It's Russell. Go inbound. Ready. And that is true. The ball did not hit the rim at all. Brian trying to put it up. Tip the miss. There's Smith. Gives it back. And Russell gets it back from her again. Russell double. Go to Smith. Ball out of bounds, gonna stay with IND. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Timeout by the Penguins. Lead still 49 to 42. That's the number. And uh, we'll be coming your way Super Bowl Sunday at Mount Kimmel. <laughs> a rematch of a matchup earlier this year with St. Francis and Mount Kimmel on the boys' end. And then the big matchup, supposed to happen a couple weeks ago, Boys Latin and St. Francis. They will get together on the boys' end on February 4th. We'll have that for you on the Dice Way Network. And then another makeup game on February 6th, Wild Lake in Patterson. And that should be a very good one. And under the Bass in Howard County against one of the Bass in Baltimore City. And that'll be a good one as well. Matchups including, hopefully, in the month of February, of course, the Matha and Paul Six on the boys' end. What a huge game that's going to be. The Baltimore City Championship, we're hoping. Mervo Patterson and the Lake Clifton Patterson game makeup day will be on Valentine's Day. We'll try to bring you that one as well. We have another matchup to try to bring you on the 11th. We're not sure where we'll be at then as of yet. That's two weeks from when we're taping today. And then, of course, championship action began. The Baltimore City Championship game. The IAM Championship game. Matchup between the C, B, and A Conference. The MIA, A, B, and C Conference Championship games out in Hoffman Community College. And the BCL Semifinals and Final. Dice Winning Network will try to be there too. And the WCAC Championship on the boys' end. We'll be bringing you that as well down America. So we've got a lot of action coming your way. Russell. Kicks it back over. Lost it out of bounds. Palati gets it back. So one minute and a quarter. Palati, plenty of time. On the comeback trail. Smith had it. Palati spins out. Wow, did everything but go in. Russell, doubled. Picked off, three on one fast break. And a double dribble the other way. IND gets it back. A turn of affairs for Pilate. Curtis. Ryan D. 
indeed. Swings a nice pass and Saw got it in. Tishon Smith, the freshman. She puts it in. And it's an eight point game. Smith swings it back over. Crossover. Pull up jumper by Hall. That one misses on the front end. Offensive rebound. Double in the corner. Smith is going to stay with the Lady Panthers. Back up, and side, caught the basket and one from Allen time. She's coming up to shoot the and one. And it's a six point game again. So the and one hit is and cut the lead to five. A huge again that would be for uh, Lady Panthers there of uh, St. Vincent Pilate. Non Smith back in the game. There's a Petty back up. That one. Spins out, offensive rebound, back over, miss it off the glass. And the Pan Penguins get it back. Williams, Let's see what she's gonna do. Block from behind. Ball back over Curtis, and a foul is called. 17 foul. And that equals the one and one. Curtis at the line, shooting a one and one. It's Brown back in the game. Hang on, hang on, First shot, spins out. Rebound to Brown. Here comes Pilate. Down by six. Shooting two. <laughs> two shots here for Michaela Whelan, a sophomore. We got a close one. 5.41 left in this one. Again, the winner will have sole possession of fourth place in the IAMA Conference. Again, that's huge because that'll give you a home game in the first round of the playoffs. Front end miss. Second shot, down by five, what a hit that was. 5.41 left in this one. It's a five point game, 50-45. Russell, back over. Williams, back over to Russell. Off the screen. Swings it over, three ball, hits it! Sidney Curtis! What a huge shot there! A seven point lead again. If I indeed. Plus the defense. Carries the basketball. Russell. Send me back over to Russell now. Russell drives, kicks it over. A drive on the floor and a travel. Ball back to Pilate. 4.58 left in this one again. There's time left. Time to 
Time out by Pilate. 52-45, the Iron Sign Network. There's a lot of basketball still coming your way. Playoff push. Playoff. The Iron Sign Network coming at you. February and into most of March this year. And uh, we're going to end out our season. We are hoping to bring you the finals of the 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A of the MPSSAA Boys Finals. Down at College Park, University of Maryland. We've been down there, trying to get our way there. And that should be good indeed. A lot of favorites in that one. And whenever we're coming your way, and then our, our high school season, the AAU season in the coming, and of course the sixth season of the Bronson League. That will be coming at you this summer on the Dinosaur Network as well. So we got a lot coming your way. Yeah. Back to game action. And this one so far, props to uh, Pilate, keeping this one close. And to weather the storm throughout, but the free throw line, they've been able to get to it. But for most of this game, it hasn't been their best friend until very recently here in the fourth. Wheeling. Back over inside. Oh, for three. Tipped and miss. Defensive rebound. Back over to Russell. She brings it up. Kicks it ah, on the baseline. And an injury as well with it. And that is Nana Smith. She's kind of poked in her eye there. They're going to check on her, make sure she's all right. Take you over to the score here, As you see there now. So we're going to go back to game action. Ball's going to go to Pilate. 426 left in this one. Ball rolls. Willen picks it up and brings it up. Hall. Swings. Tapped out of bounds. Going to stick with the ladder. 417 left in this one. And this one's been his. Yeah. Thought yep. Pilate. Yep. 40. This is Pilate. Uh, so the. They went for Lottie Wade, little ID was setting up. Had to watch that one, that one's on, really on the baseline, and she did step out. Stepped on the baseline, and the ball back to IND. And the ball rolled on the baseline, so you had to be careful there. That to start off, and then that session didn't work out for Lottie. Curtis. Williams, Taylor, back over to Williams, back over to Russell now. Screen, Russell drives, lost it out of bounds, 
Ball is going to stay though with the Penguins. Russell inbounds. 12 seconds on the shot clock. And an offensive foul. So again, Pilate. This is only down seven. Has a shot here again to take the lead. I see to make a run to take the lead. They're not in position to take the lead yet. Inside puts it up, no good. Oh, still batted. Back over. Fake sitters. Whelan spins it out. Spins out. Williams. Whelan fighting for it. It's high and D's ball. Actually, it's a foul as well, so it's going to be the one and one So the one and one is in effect here for IND. Two more fouls will be the double bonus. Pilate has been in the double bonus since late in the third quarter. So. First shot in there. Ashawa Williams getting it in. Senior. One of only two seniors on this uh, IND squad. That second one goes to. Nine point lead here for the Penguins. Swings it over. Picked it off as Williams. And then back over. To Russell. Russell double team. Williams, and she was bumped, but a timeout is called. And right at 3.13 left, a nine point lead for IND, 54 to 45. And again on the die swing network, recent videos. We have Weston and uh, Mount Kelmo up from the uh, basketball academy already. We have our other Videos up as well coming up soon from Castle Academy. And uh, stuff going. And we're getting it all up for you here on the Dice Right Now. It's been a busy season, good season. And um, we definitely love where we're at in it. Let's see, I am playoffs will begin. In a couple weeks, whole season be underway as the regular season ends. Technically on the eighth, there's going to be a game. And tough. That's a three. Spend dollars, Taylor. That would have been a dagger right there. Paul. Pulls up. Offensive rebound. That one didn't go. Hall gets it back. Hall puts it in. We back down to seven. 251 and counting left in this one. Russell with it. 54-47 game. Screen back over. Jumper. That one front end miss. Ball on the deck, ball on the deck there, jump ball. They're gonna call it. You see one ref saying IND's way and it will be to the Penguins. 26 seconds on the shot clock and 2.32 left on the game clock itself. No Taylor yes. tried to pick it off. Correct. Taylor has it. And it is turned over. So Petty lost it out of bounds. And Pilate gets it back with 224 left. Seven point game, a huge possession here coming up for the Lady Panthers. Who's the possession coming? Hall. Oh. And a foul. And again, the free throw line comes into effect here. Two shot foul. <laughs> so 
First shot, got it. Second shot for Hall. Cut the lead to five and does. He's there. And a timeout there by Pilate, I do believe. 54 to 49. Five point game, 218 left in this one. Very good girls game indeed here today on the Dias Rolling Network. I said Mount Kelmo and Patterson coming up. We're looking for that one. We can still have uh, both of Pilates boys last two games, McDonough and Mount St. Joe as well. I would say it again next week on the Dias Rolling Network, Super Bowl Sunday. We're coming at you from Mount Kelmo. St. Francis meets up with them. And then the following Monday, Boys Latin, St. Francis, February the 4th. Right down the road here where we're at. Wild Lake and Patterson as well. Makeup game. Two makeup games. That's huge. For the postseason push. We have those matchups for you. We're on the Dodge Ring Network coming up. And we're looking at Paul Six and DeMath as well. What a big game that is in the WCAC. But right now, Taylor and the Penguins trying to put this one on the ice. Uh, turned it over. Hall behind her back. Bringing it out for the Panthers. Trying to get it within three. That one missed off the glass. Nice rebound there by Curtis. Russell. All the way. Two shots. 19 foul against Pilate here. 155 left in this one. What? Uh, ladies game we've we've had here today. Russell missed the first. He's missed. I guess Pilate, still some breathing. <laughs> Second shot. That one's spent out too. So two huge misses at the line for the Penguins. Oh, swings it over. Travel! He's turned over there by Pilate and the ball back to the Penguins. <laughs> Taylor inbounds. A high court press! And a foul. And that will equal the double bonus now for the Penguins. So both teams is over the limit and fouls. And 145 left. The free throw line might be the deciding factor for both teams in this one. Uh, we know it will be definitely for Pilate. For IND to try to put this one on ice. And get that sixth win of the season. It's been a seasonal transition. We said before for uh, the Lady Penguins. Yeah, did the big win, and that's that goes. At one point this year, the Penguins did win three out of four. So I'm not sure the makeup day against Pikesville might not be able to make it up. And they said they got John Kell in the big rivalry game. The second shot didn't go. So one of two. It's a six-point game. 55-49. 138 left. That's a three. It's a big time shot. Big time shot there. Really? Trying to get the scale. The ball. Who's going to get it? It's pointing Pilates' way. They have it. Oh, it's going back to ID. One ref is pointing Pilates. One ref is pointing ID. Third ref said ID is going to get it. And it's a timeout as well. So I believe IND was able to save the possession with the timeout. We got a three-pointed game here, 55 to 52 in this girls' matchup. We're on the Dice Running Network today.
Always good to have a good one here. With the fail sex. Next time you will see girls acting on the dice right now. Hopefully we'll have the Baltimore City Championship game coming your way. We're we'll believing Polly and Weston will be your two games. Even though I tell you, Forest Park is making a run. It's pretty good. And um, Forest Park is in the 1A. And them and Pikeville look like they're going to be setting up for a showdown over at Towson for the girls' championship in the States. And then the IAM, CB, and A Conference championship games. We're going to have them for you. The other dice for network coming out February 17th. And we have that. So, back to game action. I indeed gets it. Taylor's gonna inbound the basketball now. So again, a huge press. Easy, easy, all. Out of bounds, it's going to Pilate. Again, the great defense off the press. It forces a turnover. Bat it out. Brown was trying to get it in. Russell tapped it out of bounds. Pilate keeps it. There. Over to Hall. Tried to look for the three right away. Hall got it back. Hall's driving. And she fouled. She looked for the cup pass and a foul. 115 left in this one. Oh my, a close one. And we said it before, the free throw line was going to be somebody's best friend or best enemy. And we're going to see what Hall does here at the line for Pilate. They can get this within one if both shots are hit. First shot in there. Two point game. 55 53. Second shot here. That one hits. We got a one point game. 55 54. Russell throws an airmail. Williams able to get it somehow. And a drop ball. IND is going to keep it. No. No, Pilate gets it. One ref again was pointing one way, one was pointing another. Third ref came in. Pilate. That has been down in this game since the very beginning. It's been several times early. They could take the lead here for the first time in a game with a little more than one minute left. How about that? Down to seconds. Off the knee, back over to Brown. Brown, tapped out of bounds, gonna stay with Pilate. 13 seconds on the shot clock. 53.3 seconds on the game clock. Looking right in front of us, Hall. She stepped out. The room, she stopped down. Hughes there for the Penguins. And a huge possession here for the Penguins. As Taylor's going to inbound. Swings over to Curtis. Back to Russell. Oh, what do we have here? So I think the clock, well, the clock moved. So they're going to try this again. So there's going to be 52 seconds left. Grace Taylor is going to end by it. Back over to Russell. Here we go. Russell. 
Brings it off the screen. Russell, crossover. She's doubled. See what happens here. Puts it up to Taylor. Off the glass and in. And it's a three point game. 57 53. Shot clock is off. Kalani can hold for the final shot. They need a three to tie. Inside, they go for the two instead. Valentine gets it back. Hold for the tie. Hits it. Oh, it's tied the game at 57. Falls loose, turned over. Kalani gets it back. Oh, inside. Off the glass, miss. Off the Serena. A foul is called. And the Panthers at the line to shoot two. 4.4 left, and they can take the lead with both free throws to go up by two. Wow, what a sequence of events there in the last seconds of this one. McCalla willing at the line to shoot two. She hit four for to get Pilate a two point lead. It'd be their biggest lead of the game. Incredible girls match up here at the Institute of Notre Dame. First shot, not there, it missed. We've seen some good boys action recently going to overtime. I think we might be seeing the girls one do the same. If Willen can hit this second one. Willen at the line. Second to go in, and a timeout by IND. Well, oh, no, IND was going to take a timeout. He ain't have any more. It's a one-point game, one-point lead for St. Prince of Williams is going to inbound it, and a timeout. Timeout indeed. Philippe Pilate you might have took the time out. Let's set up for you. 4.4 left in this one. And a matchup. That at one point Pilate was down 13 in this game. They have gotten this one a one-point lead, a first lead of the game. They just took out the free throw line. The big three there. By Janana Hall, one of the captains of the St. Francis Pilate girls team. And that was a pretty good one, I tell you. Cross shot if you're ever going to see one. Indeed. A good one. Have you enjoyed this one here on the Dice Winning Network today? As we're going to get you back to game action. And boy, oh boy. 4.4 left. You can have enough time to advance the ball, get a nice two. You know, and Nana Russell, number one, is going to get the ball, no question about it. Taylor, one of the shooters, got the last bucket for ID is not in the game. A little surprised about that. Right. That might be a technical foul. Six people was on the court. The whistle blew. Let's right, see how the referees are going to decide this. The whistle blew and there were six people. We gave him a chance to get out now. We ready? Here we go. Three, two. And a timeout again. 0.9. We went from 4.4 to 0.9 in a hurry. And it definitely was not three seconds. So the shot, so the clock's again gonna Get reset here. Oh. 0.9 left. At least on the clock right now. Whoop, yep, there we go. 2.6 is left now. 2.6 left. No team's got to draw something up here. Catch and shoot situation. The Penguins. 
First year in the IAMA conference, and most years you expect it's been a up and down one again. The winner of this game will have sole possession of fourth place in the AIA AM conference, A conference that is. And these teams, it's a good chance these teams are going to see each other again in a couple weeks. And the winner will probably have home court in that matchup. So. Right here in this center court. Williams is going to inbound it. Alright, Williams got it. Here we go. Russell. And a walk. A travel. 0.6 left. Dobby Lilly, a quick foul. Defense by Pilati has been pretty good. As again, they have held IND to only eight points. Another timeout is called. They've held IND to eight points here in the court. Take it back up, another time out is called. 1.2 left, so it's been extra six tenths been put up on the clock, so it's 1.2 left. 57 58 game. Pilati trail for the vast majority of this game. We had a couple times early, very early in the contest, where it was tied at two and four, respectfully. So they've been fighting from behind, and they have been able to get the lead. They've been able to be aggressive inside, have given them a free throw edge. They've missed quite a many free throws. So they got a one-point lead here on the road. Be a huge win for them. Probably on likelihood might have to foul off the ball. We call an intentional foul, so at least the ball got to get in, then a foul got to happen very immediately. And that's it. Pilate comes into the last gymnasium. Steals a win here in the final 57 58 game. How about it? St. Francis Pilate record now is going to go to 12 and 7. Man, there's two Notre Dame. They're going to drop to 5 and 12. Say so long to you here on the Dice Running Network. We will see you next week. I will, anyway, we'll see you at Mount Kelmo and St. Francis. We got more action coming your way. You stay tuned right here on the Dice Running Network. You're home to sports action in the Baltimore metro area. See you. This is Die Sporting Network.